are standing in front of St. Peter's Cathedral. And we have together Tanis Abraham. Hello, Tanis. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Please tell me your age. How old are you? I'm 15 years old. Okay. And tell me about you some things. What have you done until now? I know that you have done many things and you have five degrees. Well, I, I, I <laughs> five will. Five or four? <laughs> four. Um, I have done, I've been, I've been in college already and I have a... Uh, um, gone to community college where I received uh, three associate's degrees and then I graduated community college and, and just recently I also graduated from university, um, from, uh, from University of California, Davis and uh, I also got my, I got my bachelor's in biomedical engineering. How uh, do you decide to do all of that things? It's really difficult in your age for a young person to do all of that. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know how did you decide to do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was very interested in the science in general. Um, I was originally interested in paleontology. Um, so like the study of, uh, in particular, I like to study dinosaurs. <laughs> when I was like really young, like this was five or six years old. And so, um, but I had I learned already so much from the books and, and the internet that I wanted to take a course on it. Yeah. And that kind of started my journey. Um, I found a geology course that was interesting and I started taking that and from that I kind of started my, uh, my I guess, uh, academic career in, yeah. and started taking college classes. And then from then I became slowly by slowly more interested in medicine and biology and engineering. And so then um, I graduated community college and transferred to the university where I decided to major in biomedical engineering because it kind of combines all of my interests together in um, to solve medical problems, so I, that's what I, why I decided to major in that field. And now I'm working on my PhD in biomedical yeah. engineering. <laughs> what is the most intriguing thing about science? What is the most fascinating thing? Well, in general, I think uh, obviously science is fascinating because um, there's so many unanswered questions about just the way the universe works from, you know, from the atomic level all the way to you know the level of galaxies and and um, stars and and so there's so many unanswered questions and it's fun to be able to learn about those questions and learn about how scientists are are trying to solve those questions and and then as a scientist myself now I'm able to solve problems more more in the medical field obviously but still very interesting problems that affects us uh, more closely I guess. <laughs> um, uh, medically, so that's why I'm interested in science and engineering and technology. Yeah. So you told me that uh, you want to uh, study medically some things. Mm -hmm. So you want to save people's lives. Mm -hmm. uh, so I suppose. Yes. Uh, am I right? Yeah, yeah. That's definitely why I want to uh, go into. I also want to go into medicine after my PhD. I want to. Be, uh, I want to uh, become a doctor and uh, and hopefully. Uh, be able to, in particular, bring research uh, from the bench to, 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 to help people's lives eventually um, because there's a lot of research out there that is just still there and not really helping anybody but that was their goal but um, it takes, it's the process from getting it from, you know, the, from the lab to the patients and that's also very interesting, Try, that way I can be able to help more patients, yeah. Uh, what is your biggest goal in life? What you have thought that you will have uh, do what you have do mm -hmm. in many years from now? How you see yourself in mm -hmm. ten year in ten years probably from now on? Mm -hmm. Because right now you have done many things. So I would like to know how you thought how mm -hmm. you will think your life afterwards. Yeah. So uh, I de I definitely have many goals. I'm a very kind of goal oriented person. Um, um, of course, my upcoming goal is to get my PhD, um, and that's what I'm working on right now. And then after that, I want to get my MD and, and become a doctor. And so, and then after that, I also want to uh, become the president of the United States as well. So yeah. <laughs> that's another interest of mine. So yeah, yeah. I hope that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And something uh, different. Uh, I have read that you love Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite character and his motto? I would like to hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, one of my favorite characters is Buzz Lightyear yeah. <laughs> and his motto is to infinity and beyond. And that's kind of the motto I have for life. And that's, I put that on my graduation cap and everything. So, yeah. So that's one of my 
favorite uh, quotes. <laughs> <laughs> what it means that motto for you? What it means it to for me it means to always like reach for the stars and and that there um, that I there I'm able to overcome all these different challenges and that's what it means to me. Yeah. And I would like to ask something else. Tell us about some things about Greece. You know Greece. You have met Greece or you have read about Greece. About Greece? Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, they're very famous, um, you know, Greek scientists and philosophers. So I think that for me, obviously, is my major interest in Greece. Yeah. <laughs> so sometime, I hope that you will visit us. <laughs> yeah, sure. And I'll be interested to learn about the history of Greece and, and you know, the science history and the philosophy history and as well as Greece is a very beautiful place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, what it means for you, the Giuseppe Saka Award that you, that, you, that you will take? It means a lot to me. I know it's a very prestigious award, so I'm excited to be receiving the award. And um, yeah, it, and I'm excited to be here in Italy. Um, this is my first time in Italy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so it's going to be a fun international trip for us. And, and, and so yeah, it's, it's great to be here in Italy in Vatican City, yeah. You've been about Italy? You have met some places or not? <laughs> I haven't been. No, I, I just came here yeah. for, straight, from, <laughs> straight from the airport. So, yeah. so I hope that you'll see many things yeah. the other days. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've, we've had to go obviously visit uh, Vatican City and, and go around, visit the Basilica. And, and we want to obviously go to uh, the Colosseum and different other uh, uh, locations and landmark locations. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank It you. was really nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I'm excited to be awarded uh, to be awarded the Premier Absol Absoluto Award. So I'm very excited um, to be awarded this prestigious award. So yeah, it's it's going to be great. <laughs> Siamo al Premio Assoluto. Siamo al gran finale di questa diciassettesima edizione del premio Sciacca. Now we are going to celebrate the most important award, the Giuseppe Sciacca International Award. E conosciamo il vincitore, un ragazzo straordinario. Tra poco racconteremo le sue gesta. Intanto lo conosciamo attraverso il nostro ultimo video. Hi, my name is Tanish and I am 18 and a half years old. I like particle physics, all the antimatter and the fate of the universe and the Big Bang theory. I've got some science jokes, so... Okay, all right. Let's hope um, you understand them. <laughs> I want to be a doctor, a scientist, and the President of the United States. He came out smart, right? <laughs> Around two, two and a half kind of, he knew all his numbers from one to like hundred. He just jumped he just, like from kindergarten level to like third grade level. Through the school system, he had a lot of problems not being challenged. For me, it all started out with a simple passion. The love of reading and gaining knowledge. Since I just graduated from high school, um, um, President Obama sent me a letter. Because he started taking college classes when he was seven, very, uh, yeah, seven that's eight years seven, old. Yeah. I started going to American River College. I've got almost 45 units. When you think of a genius, everybody's like mad scientist kind of a thing. And I just think about learning is fun. A scientist is reading a book on anti-gravity. He can't put it down. <laughs> <laughs> the lesson that we all can learn from Tanish is 
look beyond the rules of the game, so to speak, and allow people to perform and, and excel. Just 14 years old, in three weeks, Tanishq Abraham will be a UC Davis graduate with my bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering. Final thoughts, as Buzz Lightyear says, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Let's explore. Premia sua eminenza, reverendissima il signor cardinale Raymond Leo Burke. Invitiamo anche i rappresentanti della giuria qui. Caro Ministro, siamo oltre, e qui, qui siamo veramente oltre rispetto a quello che abbiamo detto fino ad ora. Si è diplomato a 10 anni e si è laureato a 11 anni. Il premio assoluto è stato assegnato al giovane scienziato indiano-americano Tanish Abram. È il premio assoluto di questa diciassettesima edizione del premio Sciacca. Vi leggo il giudizio. Ha conseguito il diploma di scuola superiore a 10 anni e la prima laurea a 11. Normal, it's normal. Ha tenuto importanti conferenze come quelle del 2009 alla NASA, dove è stato il più giovane relatore di tutti i tempi. Nel 2014 il Presidente degli Stati Uniti gli ha indirizzato una lettera di encomio. Nel 2018 si è laureato in Ingegneria Biometrica presso l'Università A.C. Davis, dove ha conseguito il dottorato. Ha progettato un dispositivo unico che riduce le complicazioni, monitorando la funzione cardiaca dei pazienti ustionati senza contatto fisico. La sua invenzione viene già applicata ai pazienti. Nel 2018, pensate, ha pubblicato una ricerca dal titolo Approcci meccanici a vescicole intelligenti e bioispirate per applicazioni biomediche. Lo scopo della ricerca è quella di sviluppare un metodo di somministrazione controllato dei farmaci attraverso le vescicole. Signore e signori, siamo davanti a uno scienziato, uno straordinario scienziato di soli 15 anni. Premio assoluto Tanish Abram. Tanishk riceve in dono la caravella d'argento, simbolo del premio Shaka, realizzato dallo scultore Sakis Hilelis. Hey, Tanishk, how are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm very excited and very, I'm honored to be receiving this award. Um, è molto eccitato e di ricevere questo premio, è molto contento ovviamente. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Cardinal Burke for uh, presenting me this award. I'd like to thank the Shiaka Foundation for recognizing me with this award. And th ovviamente ringraziamento va alla Fondazione Shiaka, al Cardinale Burke e a chi ha creduto ovviamente in questo premio. And yeah, um, I'm excited to continue my journey with my PhD and I, as I like to say, learning never stops and Um, I'm happy to be inspiring so many people and students around the world. Eh, lui dice che è ancora contento di andare avanti perché non si fermerà nel PhD che sta continuando, anche perché 15 anni c'è una vita davanti, quindi... Eh, but... Are your parents? Yeah, my parents are over there. <laughs> oh, where? Your mommy and your father. Yeah. Ci sono anche i genitori. Congratulations. <laughs> The award maybe is dedicated to your parents. Yeah, I'd like to de dedicate to my parents and also my sister, all of which who have supported me, and my grandparents who have also supported me, and of course I'd like to thank God for all the blessings all he's given me. All your family. Yeah. Perché giustamente dice c'è mia sorella, ci sono i miei genitori, ma ci sono anche i miei nonni e tutta la famiglia a supportare questo mio percorso. Siamo davvero orgogliosi. We are proud of you. Congratulations. E, 
Is it the first time for you in Italy? Yeah. Io chiesto se è la prima volta per lui in Italia. Yeah, it's the first time in Italy. We just came yesterday, so uh, it's very exciting to be here in Italy, and it's a very beautiful place. Oh, very bene. Quindi è contento perché è la prima volta che viene. Did you eat something in Italy? Yeah, yeah we ate yesterday. Uh, we had a great dinner, and today also. So, pasta, yeah. pizza. Uh, yeah, pasta and pizza. Yeah. Gli ho chiesto se ha già mangiato qualcosa di italiano. Ieri ha mangiato della buona pasta, della buona pizza, ed è contento di essere un posto ed eccitato di essere un posto come questo. Noi ti ringraziamo. Thanks so much. Uh, Thank you for your, your life, for your, uh, your job, uh, your passion. Thank congratulations. You. Ancora congratulazioni al premio assoluto. Tanish Abram. A questo punto, Don Bruno, con uh, il suo consenso possiamo dichiarare chiusa la nostra diciassettesima uh, edizione, o, o meglio, con il suo consenso, Sua Eminenza. Grazie a tutti, è stata un, veramente una serata molto ispirante, e chiediamo la benedizione di Dio su tutti i premiati e su tutti noi che possiamo andare avanti eh, avanzando il regno di Cristo nel mondo. Grazie.